Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 is literally a week away at the time of me recording this video when we're going to be expecting to see for the first time the trailer with these giant things, the AT-AT stomping around in it. Whoa, 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 before we get ahead of ourselves though, of course as you can see by the title of today's video, we have even more leaks to do with the live event and everything that's going to be involved or happening during it. As Fortnite have not only came out with a new article confirming when the date of this live event will be and it's after when the Battle Pass initially said this season would end. And let's just say with Fortnite publishing this article or revealing it, it's directly also confirmed so many other leaks about the live event and next season. It's a no-brainer that you guys should be sticking around until the end of today's video as we also have a countdown trailer basically hyping up or introducing us to the next season after the live event. And don't forget in these final days leading up to season 3, now to get the battle pass I will be hiding a 1000 V-Bucks code on screen in every single video I post so make sure to look out for that. And speaking of season 3 and it releasing it would be greatly appreciated if you could do this right now as it literally takes 2 seconds and is 100% free entering code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face, but cheers up my pug Gus too, who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers, and after all, it only benefits you as I do get different subscribers every single day, which as you can imagine, very soon is going to be hundreds of the Season 3 Battle Pass. So if you ever want to receive something, simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with that said, now enough messing around, we've got a ton of live event details to go over, whether confirmed by Epic Games or leaked, confirming what's upcoming for Season 3, so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my don't back. Go anywhere. Okay, so diving into it, all the next development that I've showcased earlier in other videos, however it's in game now, as you can see is the countdown timer. And for those that don't know, this lobby in itself had received a slight development before this got hot fixed into the game, as this initially is what the construction of the mecha team leader look like and now it's got legs attached to it. I'm guessing as this counts down even further as days pass of course we're going to be seeing even more construction happening to the mecha team leader as despite there only being seemingly one arm missing now there's still a lot of work to go so it's safe to say it's not as hyper seen it built in game like in chapter 1 season 9 before the final showdown but we do know what the end product of this mecha team leader is going to be looking like and we know it's going to be a brand new skin. Our first look at this was believe it or not off the leak of the season 3 battle pass which we're going to be covering the full image of and everything contained on it further in the video so stay tuned. Of course people at first thought this was fake considering the edge of the image doesn't match the edge of the box where it says Fortnite crew. However as Fortnite have not only been releasing more teasers across their Twitter and social media to do with the event itself, new skins that we're going to be able to wear as a squad so it seems, that will be releasing in the item shop before the event so we can wear them to it and make sure to use code FM1 if you're picking any of these up of course. Speaking of these skins in the most recent teaser where they've declared everything about the event event, the name and when it's going to be going down or how long it will be in game as involved or as a part of a cinematic. As you can see first of all we're met with this revamped giant red mecha team leader and with this not only confirming that this will be the June crew pack skin but everything else on this image to do with the season 3 battle pass was real which we're going to be going over momentarily. However quickly first we need to go over the details in this article first the revealing that this Fortnite live event as also shown on the news tab is going to be called Collision. The article initially opens up by stating the fate of the zero point will be decided in this one time in-game event collision. This event will require all hands on deck, so squad up in a party of four and strap in for go time. The collision playlist will be available in Fortnite 30 minutes prior to the start for players to suit up. Players without a full squad will have their group filled with others to assist them during collision, meaning you don't need to have a full lobby of four and you'll simply enter the LTM when that time comes through this short one-time animation that was leaked during the 20.40 update, which you guys will have seen floating across the internet. Next, even further more interestingly, it states collision takes place on June 4th at 4pm ET and is a one time only event. Content creators and players wanting to relieve their daring moves and heroic experiences should take steps to record and archive the event since replays of it will not be available. Also confirming alongside the fact the season has been extended by one day that we're going into an extended downtime meaning actually season 3 releases on June 5th 2022 as these downtimes after the event or the events that go straight into downtime should I say typically have a screen at the end like this where it says we have to wait around 12 hours until 
until the next season starts. Not only are Fortnite marketing this to be one of the biggest events we've seen yet, but with Fortnite Mobile returning through services such as Nvidia GeForce Now, literally everyone on every single platform will finally be able to attend a Fortnite event again. And again, as previously mentioned, despite us being able to suit up with brand new mech themed cosmetics in the item shop releasing in the next few days before we do enter the event so we can attend the event wearing them, there will actually be, according to FNBR Intel, a free reward granted onto our accounts after downtime lifts when Season 3 launches for simply attending this event as this is the last thing we'll see of Fortnite, obviously, before downtime. And speaking of FNBR Intel, he also notified us over on Twitter that according to the PlayStation event, it will last 15 minutes as we can select if we're attending or not on this device. So I'm guessing just like the Chapter 2 end event or cinematic finale kind of thing that we could also be interactively involved in, it will directly replicate the format of that, obviously have us involved interacting and kind of playing our part during the event, leading into a fixed cinematic after all is said and done. Speaking of time as while we're on the subject as well, if you're wondering why we can't see at the middle of the map the Collider, as this event is now called the Collision, obviously directly involving it or being a product of this being constructed, there is no or we can't see the countdown timer unless we look right up in the sky in replay mode for whatever reason, I'm guessing this is glitched out and Epic Games haven't hot fixed something to fix this into the game yet. Upon it being fixed and the countdown timer reaching zero, however, this kind of exclamation mark thing will appear above it according to data miners over on Twitter, which will give us the get-go that yes, the event is about to start and everybody needs to be around the collider, if not is forced there by the zone closing on this position once entering the LTM. And despite Obi-Wan Kenobi obviously being teased in this trailer when lightsabers returned in the 20.40 update to be upcoming, with him being released now throughout the item shop and with us knowing about him as a skin, what he looks like and everything, believe it or not, Fortnite have confirmed this leak of the Season 3 Battle Pass yet again by not only having the constructed Mecha Team Leader revamped version on it as a part of the Fortnite crew part, but as you can see from the trailer in the background, the Obi-Wan trailer of him arriving at the very end, a red lightsaber lights up and we know the arch nemesis or once was apprentice of Obi-Wan Kenobi was Anakin Skywalker's Darth Vader version. And as you can see on the Season 3 Battle Pass leak, Darth Vader is of course going to be in the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass. Of course, it was only a matter of time before he made his way here throughout the galaxies or multiverse that Fortnite have formed now, with it being also confirmed that we're going to this ice moon during the events. And speaking of the moon we see in the sky being, yes, an ice moon, which we also see actually for the first time the scenery of in our lobby right now with ice surrounding the glass. This is not the only reason for me calling it an ice moon in the first place, as the law I'm about to mention is perhaps the most interesting part of the video. Here's a screenshot of an explanation of everything in the Fortnite lore and how it's tied up till now that completely makes sense to be honest. The ice moon will be an important aspect of Fortnite lore, especially in this live event. The upcoming comic focuses on the Seven's attempts to reach the ice moon, which orbits the island in order to recover Paradigm's mech. The Seven believe that she flew to the ice moon after executing the Devourer. The weather should have killed her, but it seems as though that wasn't the case. Why did she go to the ice moon? It turns out the iceberg was a shard of the moon and many monsters may lie under its surface, obviously referring to the Devourer, which washed up on our Chapter 1 island in Season 7 initially, but we didn't know the Devourer then was underneath this giant polar peak iceberg. Honestly, this event's going to be crazy with the amount of references and even inspiration they've taken off other games, as you can see side-by-side -side comparison from the game Doom right here. It looks like it's been replicated throughout Fortnite. But with all of that said, don't go anywhere yet, as explaining that lore will only help you further understand the trailer I'm about to showcase, which honestly is absolutely insane. But before I stop talking, make sure of course you leave a like in today's video if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel right now with all notifications turned on so that you're the first to some of the newer videos I post on the lead up to Season 3, and hopefully have gathered that 1000 V-Bucks code out of at least once.